So guys, today we have something very exciting. On my right, our Revo Edition Golf R, and on my left, our BMW M2 RSR Edition. We're here at Weigel Automotive in Oeringen. We're going to head inside to see Luigi. He's going to show us their innovative product about how we can make both of these cars more accessible for more drivers. Welcome uh, here at Feigl Automotive. My name is Jan Swieser. I'm the uh, CEO of uh, Feigl and we are here in the beautiful southern Germany in Oeringen. And what do we do? We make uh, mobility happen for everyone. In the 1920s, uh, we started selling uh, bicycles and uh, equipment for, you know, being mobile in the 1920s. And uh, starting from 1923, 1925, we started selling um, uh, vehicles. You know, the first car we sold was an uh, Opel Laubfrosch. In 1925, uh, Wilhelm Feigl invented the dual controls for driving schools, so that when he sold a car to somebody, he could also be on the passenger side and make sure they know how to drive it uh, because otherwise he always felt a bit uncomfortable when they were test driving a car uh, um, and he was sitting next to them uh, driving through the small town of, uh, of Künzelsau. These are all the dual control base templates which we use to produce new ones. So the reason why we went into the mobility market was that we worked closely in the early 2000s. We worked very closely with the OEMs. We still do. We sell directly to Mercedes, to Volkswagen, um, to Renault. And there we came across the products which are being offered for people with disabilities and we looked at them and we said well this is just this looks like out of the 50s but at that point we were in the 2000s you know and we were like wow we, we still this is what we got this is all we have you know this is all the choices these people have and my mother she was a goldsmith um, and she really had a focus on the design of the product. So how does the product look and how does it look for the end customer? And these two um, pillars of our company are still here. The quality of the product and the design of the product, how it looks. With our equipment, when you look in the car, ideally you would just ask, oh, what did, what did this car company do? What, what is this? You know, is this part of the car? And not say like, oh, this is a hand control. You must have a disability to that you need it. And I think we did that, you know, very often people look in the cars and they don't even know which is our equipment and which is part of the car. One of the things we believe in is that we want to enable people to do whatever they like, no matter what challenge they have, right? And um, for our czar to then come to the point to say, hey, you know, we want to do the same thing. We want to take our premium services, you know, and want to offer them to anybody in the world. And that completely is what, what we believe in, you know. We have this you know, premium product, the product where when you look inside the car, it looks, it looks like it's part of it. You know, and RSR obviously has a name for racing, 
And now when somebody comes and says, I'd really like to try to race on a professional track, you know, now we can say, well, it's possible. It's just as easy as writing an email or picking up your phone because it is now accessible. And, and this is something which is so exciting and, and which we think it's going to just uh, um, make a lot of people all over the world very happy. So Luigi, thank you so much for the tour. I can't tell you how amazing it's You're been very to, welcome. just to learn a little bit about the history of the company, meet the CEO, and see everything from the CAD design to the construction and assembly of every single unit. Everything's done here in Germany. Can you tell us a little bit about the products that have been installed in the cars today? So first of all, you're welcome, Jonathan. Nice to have the whole team here. We installed two Figo Classic 2s in each of the cars. Um, the Figo Classic 2 has won a few awards, it's all made here in Germany. There are no electronic functions involved. That means it's a mechanical hand control. You just have to push the handle down to accelerate, push the hand control forwards to brake. Um, from a design perspective, it is also very thin. That means that the driver doesn't have any difficulties or doesn't feel uncomfortable in the car because the space or the leg room is still plenty. They are also equipped with this quick release function. The quick release function allows you to install and deinstall the hand control in less than five minutes, um, which gives you the flexibility you're probably looking for in your racetrack when you offer the car to people who sit on wheelchair and people who don't. Um, and last but not least, this hand control is all made in Germany. All the products, the production, every single step is made here in Germany. Therefore, we offer this German engineering, this premium quality, and it, it's also black, so it passes perfectly to, with the design of the cars inside. It looks almost as it is part of the car as it came that, this way from the factory, and this was our goal with these. Well, for sure, it sounds like it's a perfect for our application for use on the racetrack. Can you walk us through the units? Indeed, I can. So you give gas this way and you brake this way. And when, when you want to use the handbrake, you press here the button and then you move it forward and then it remains in the handbrake position. When you're finished and you want to drive, you push forward and the handbrake is gone. Of course, you should always have your hand on the hand control because if you push the handbrake away and you're on drive position, then the car will drive. Um, but it's quite easy to, um, to use. Then we have then the possibility with the quick release function, the whole hand control to take it away from the car. But from this, um, I would like to bring our sales technical advisor, Mario.
Wow, you guys are right, less than two minutes to remove the system, very, very quick. But Luigi, of course, one of our major concerns when we were talking about the system at first was how it would affect the stock operation of the pedals. But as you can see, with the system completely uninstalled, there is absolutely no impact on the pedals at all. This is perfect for our application where those days when we're really busy and need to use the car for both a client who needs a hand control and then a client who doesn't. We can take and swap very, very quickly without an impact to either type of driver. So, Luigi, we have been in and out of the cars, we've built it in and out. Seems very intuitive to you so far. You're welcome. As you saw, it was pretty easy to deinstall and install. It took about a minute or two. Um, as you get more experience, you'll probably be more towards the one minute. And it's also very easy to use. The acceleration and brake is pretty straightforward. I'm very much looking forward to what you have to say, what your customers have to say in the rest track. And I think that's what makes me the most excited about this project, is that we can share our passion, which is driving the Nürburgring with a group that historically hasn't been able to join in. So to be able to offer this product... I can imagine, and I agree with you. I mean, this is what we do. We enable people mobility. It doesn't matter where you're sitting, if you're sitting in a wheelchair or sitting in a car with two working legs. I want to say thank you both to Vago and especially to you, Luigi, for coming and helping us today. You're very welcome. Everything.